Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A cable is suspended between two supports 120 meter apart at the same level. Let us keep the left side support as A and the right side support as B. Both of the supports are in the same level. The span of the cable is given as 120 meter. It carries two concentrated loads, each of 5 kN, at points 30 meter and 90 meter from the left support. This load is at 30 meter from the left support, and this load is at 90 meter from the left support. 90 minus 30, we will get 60. We know the total span 120, 120 minus 90, we will get 30. The length of the cable is 160 meter. Determine the support reactions, tension in various points of the cable. We know that in this cable structure, we have symmetrical loading. In this case, the dips Y1 and Y2 will be same. Let us keep this point as C and this point as D. CD will be horizontal. In this question, first we have to find the support reactions. Let us find the vertical reactions VA and VB. Since there is symmetrical loading, we can easily find them. For that, we have to add both of these two loads and then divide that by 2. In this way, we will get VA and VB. Both of them are 5 kN. Now, we are going to find the horizontal thrust H. To find the horizontal thrust, we have to find the dip Y1 or Y2. The total length of the cable is given as 160 meter. We know this length, that is 60 meter. We have to find the length of AC and DB. We know that this cable structure is symmetrical. So, length of AC and length of DB should be same. Let us keep both of the lengths as X. So, X plus X, that will be 2X plus 60, that should be equal to 160. We can take 60 on the other side. 160 minus 60, we will get 100. Then we can take this 2 on the other side. It will come in the denominator. In this way, we can find x which is 50 meter. Just before, we have found ac which is 50. We know this length that is 30. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us use Pythagoras theorem. 50 square is equal to 30 square plus y1 square. We can take 30 square on the other side. So it will come as negative. We can add these two. We will get 1600. To find y1, we have to take root of this. When we do that, we will get 40 meter. We know that y1 and y2 are same. So y1 and y2 will be 40 meter. Now, using this formula, we can find the horizontal thrust H. Let us take the point C. Up to the point C, we have only the vertical reaction 5. The vertical reaction 5 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 30. In the point C, Y is 40. Finally, for H, we will get 3.75 kN. Now, let us find the tension in all of the segments. In AC and DB, the tension will be same. For all of the segments, the horizontal component will be the horizontal thrust, 3.75. For AC, the vertical component is the vertical reaction, 5. For CD, the vertical component is 5 minus 5, so that it will be 0. Then using this formula, we can find the tension. Now we are going to end this session. 
Thank you for watching this video.